Hey, God bless you guys in Jesus name. If there's one thing, hear me y'all. If there's one thing that the devil hopes you do is this. See the the enemy is going to come and he is going to try to hit you. He is going to try to come at you. And this is what the enemy wants for you to do. See, the devil is going to try to touch and come at you in hopes that you back down, that you throw in the towel, that you give up because he wants for the pressure to become or to make you believe that what he's doing is greater than God. That his pressure, that even his pain will cause you to buckle, tap out, and give up on what God is wanting to do in your life. See, that can be what you're called to do. That can be something he blesses you with. That could be um, something that you're believing God for. That could be contending for your miracle and for your healing. And he tries to push the sore spots. He tries to push those areas of your life in hopes that you will give up. In hopes that you will tap out. In hopes that you will just back down because that's what he wants you to do. He wants for you to give up. He wants for you to throw in the towel. He wants for you to stop because he knows if you don't, if you persevere and press through, he understands and knows because time reveals all things. But he also knows that the faithful who endure to the end get the victory. Get the prize and receive the spoils and the blessing and the favor of the Lord. See, there comes a time and moment, my brothers and my sisters, and a day and hour when you might even feel like, but God, where are you at? Why are you letting the devil do this? Why are you letting the enemy hit me? Why are you, why are you allowing the sickness to remain? Why are you allowing this miracle not to happen? Why are you not allowing the miracle to happen? Where are you, God, in the midst of the devil coming against me, the enemy trying to hit me? Where are you at, God, in this, in this situation? Oh, but brothers and sisters, understand and realize this. You are becoming stronger. You are becoming a greater force to be reckoned with for that devil that has tried to touch you. That devil that's trying to cause havoc and create chaos in your life. And Let me say this, brothers and sisters. What you don't defeat in this season, what you don't defeat in this blessing will return in another season. So you might as well take the sword to the devil's head. You might as well win the battle now, endure the pain and suffering and persevere now so that that way down the road, you don't have to deal with this devil that's trying to stop you and rob from you what God is trying to do in your life. See, because you need to understand one thing about the enemy. See, he will leave for a season. But those areas within your life that he's fighting you in, that, that he's trying to rob from you, if he can steal it from you, if he can rob it from you, if he can place fear in your heart, you best believe he's going to come back in like manner once again to test you in that area because he knows you're weak and you're going to buckle and fold. That's why you have to, you have to dig your feet deep in and not budge and stand and say you know what no more no more devil no more are you gonna you're not gonna steal no more blessings you're not gonna steal that situation you're not gonna rob that from me you're not gonna you're not gonna come around around my life anymore like this anymore devil no more and you put notice on that devil 
You tell that devil, I'm drawing the line in the sand once and for all, and you will not come against me. You will not come against any one of my families. As for me in my house, we will serve the Lord and God's blessing in his hand and his protection is over me and my family. And the Lord is soon going to raise the standard against that devil that's trying to raise up against you. You best believe, brothers and sisters, there's coming a time and moment where God is about to step in. There's coming a time and a moment when the Holy Ghost is about ready to choke out that devil, is going to grab that devil by the neck and destroy him out of his life, out of your life once and for all. Enough is enough. You tell that devil, you tell that sickness, you tell that disease, you tell that spirit of infirmity, no more. Get out. Get off. And never again come against me or my family. We're not doing this no more. We're not monkeying around no more. Devil, your time is up. You're getting out. You're getting up and out of this family. And I bind you and destroy your works out of my life once and for all. In Jesus' name. Be thou loose and be thou cast seat. And be thou, be thou loose and be thou cast into the sea. And be bound there forever until the day of judgment. In Jesus' name. May the Holy Ghost empower you and give you boldness and strength. May the Spirit of God come upon you mightily like Samson and, and mightily like David. That, that says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine trying to taunt me? Who is this devil over here thinking he can stop and block and hinder, hinder the anointing and the blessing of God upon my life? That's what you need to come to, brothers and sisters. You need to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. And you and you need to dig your toes deep in and stand with the armor on. When you've done all that you've known to do, just keep standing. Because the Lord, the Lord is going to rescue you. The Lord is going to redeem you. The Lord is going to be your salvation. The Lord is going to be the redeemer. The Lord is going to be your rescuer. The Lord is going to come nigh. But he also is going to show you who you are in him. That you are too a mighty soldier, a mighty son, a mighty daughter in the hand of God with his spirit within taking authority, dominion and power back from the enemy which rightfully belongs to the sons and daughters of God and put that devil under your, underneath your feet once and for all brothers and sisters don't let that devil no more intimidate you and don't back down because brothers and sisters like I said if you don't defeat him now he will come back again in another season if you don't win it in one season you're going to have to win it sooner or later down the road. So you might as well deal with that devil now in your life because he's going to pop up when the blessings show up. He's going to pop up when opportunity happens. He's going to pop up when God is about to move. He's going to pop up. And if you have not dealt with that devil now and have in the past, he's going to show up. Because he knows it stopped you before. He knows it hindered you before. He knows you threw in the towel before. And he knows your temperament. He knows whether or not you're going to endure to the end. Because the last time you buckled and folded. Do not anymore. Somebody say no more devil. Uh-uh. We're not doing this no more. We're not doing this no more devil. I ain't got time for this no more. Jesus is coming back. I need to redeem the time that I lost because I allowed you to talk me out of that situation. I allowed you to steal that from me. I allowed. But no more devil in Jesus' name. I am healed devil. You tell that devil. Spirit of infirmity. Get up and out and get off my body. This is the temple of the Lord. What are you doing touching the body of Jesus? What are you doing touching the temple of the Holy Ghost? What are you doing touching this that was paid for by the precious blood of Jesus Christ? What are you doing coming against me? Come on, y'all. Oh, I know I'm I know I'm a little passionate today. 
but you need to understand and you need to get this fight burning on the inside of you because you need to tell that devil no more no more we're not doing this no more you're done once and for all and i'm gonna cut off your head like david did goliath 